Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Hello everybody and welcome to Greedfall, a new RPG that has been released today. There wasn't much hype about this game actually. Um, and so I thought it would be a good idea to dive into this one here. I don't like hyped games and I really, really love the setting here, 17th century. Kind of like fantasy historical setting, so a mix of that. And it has lots of elements, RPG elements from other games such as The Witcher. And we're going to try it out now. And here we are already in the character selection menu. So first of all, we have to choose a character. I'm going for the man here. We can actually choose some presets. As we can see, the ones that we like the most. And can I switch around here? Yes, I can actually do that. Actually, I do like this character already. Let's choose some other hair though. Um, I'm a big fan of long hair on characters. Don't get me wrong on this one though. So we're going to find one here. Actually, there is not a real long hairstyle here that I like. So we're just going for the standard, I guess male one and some facial hair if we want to i'm going for none here in this case some decent eyebrows i actually like the ones that we have there and where's the color hair color there it is let's make it a dark dark blonde type and we also do have some tattoos here or something like that some skin but i don't see how we can change that Okay, so that's the character for now, I guess. Let's let's have a look at the faces stuff first before we can really dive into this one. And as you can see, there are lots of, lots of faces there, lots of different faces too. Yeah, I like this one actually. Let's go for this one here. And other than that, well, we also have the, I think, the eye color there. Yes, we can also choose the eye color. And that's it. I'm not going to linger on that for too long. And here we can now see the classes that we have. So we have three char uh, character classes, even though you can then mix them, you know, and you can always respec. So it's not the most um, important decision here. And I always love to have a warrior kind of, a one-handed uh, sword uh, wielding warrior that uses magic so like the witcher type like Geralt and in this case I definitely want to go uh, towards magic but I think we should start as a warrior so we get the one-handed uh, blade that we want here and then we can go for the magic class here so this profile focuses on the use of offensive spells from a distance and this one here the technical class uses traps and firearms in the battlefield and the warrior well as we said is doing firearms and the one-handed blades and is focusing on strength and endurance and the magic class actually uses one-handed heavy weapons stasis and a divine magic ring so actually it doesn't sound that bad we can actually use um weapons there already science and intuition so actually let's go for the magic class here in this case so we can actually um, focus on magic and one-handed heavy weapons. I hope um, that's going to be useful. And here we can now see the talent tree that we have here. So we have like the warrior class up here, agility and accuracy for the technical class and the magic class, which has willpower and mental power. And we actually have one point that we need to invest now. And we're going for, well, mental power increases the power of all spells. And the willpower increases maximum MP and spell duration. Let's go for power of spells for now, so mental power. And we also have one point to invest into our personal trait. So this is like charisma, vigor, craftsmanship, intuition, lock picking, and science. And science, for example, allows us to make potions. Intuition, gathering sites become easier to see, slightly increases the number of ingredients. So we have uh, different things that enhance um, other uh, out of combat um, traits, you know, like charisma slightly reduces merchants' prices and slightly improves your companion's combat abilities. Slightly increases the chance of success from dialogue. Okay, so actually that sounds pretty good, right? Charisma. 
Let's go for Charisma and let's start the game. Yes. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you. Her highness has personally requested I finish. <sighs> Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> okay, and here we are now. Right at the beginning, uh, the compass visible at the top in the center of the screen, it indicates important place and active quest objectives. And as we can see, we already have this like the outfits and the architecture 17th century colonial age. And I'm really eager to see what that means. It's, it seems like a very interesting setting so far from what I've seen from the game as well. And we have to follow now. We have to go to this quest down there. So it's down here. Yeah, perfect. And the graphics are beautiful so far. Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Well, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Mm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Okay, so the fighting tutorial starts. Let's see, okay, we have to shoot him. Main attack and a secondary attack. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I can rush towards him. And I need to dodge. Okay, so lock on targets, use shadow missiles, shadow impact. Think you had a proper master of arms. The best. Are you already training for your new post of legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery'll get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. No, skip the combat That's tutorial for now. Say. I think we know how it works. Task to check off my list before we depart. And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the aisle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Show him how happy you are that he's coming along, complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. Oh well, contrary, let's be diplomatic. I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Cossillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. 
Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Alrighty. Meet Kurt in front of the palace. First of all, we need to get out of here. Let's follow the compass. Let's go and say goodbye to Mother. Should be in there. And oh, that looks like a doctor. Brewing some potions there. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now. Let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here, take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Gotta say that the voice acting is top notch. Absolutely amazing. Feels like a triple A title. Spiders has not been the developer, has not been um, known for triple A games so far. And this really, really feels high quality here. Oh, and there we are now on the main place, I guess, in this really, really big city. Very dark and gloomy atmosphere. Kurt, it's done. Sorry, green blood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Okay, so that's the next quest that we have. And what you can also see now is we have to choose a companion. So here's our first companion. So like in Dragon Age, you have a group of people going around with you. And you can even pause the game in combat to assign them to certain tasks and stuff like that. So Kurt, Kurt is a melee combat master and can wear heavy armor. He's our first character here. And of course, he's also got skill points, endurance, strength and agility. And we need to assign them then and he's also part of the faction coin guard and yeah we're going to to name him kurt 
That's fine. And let's confirm. So, quest log. You can now consult main quest and side quest. I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. Okay, so let's follow this one now. It should be down there somewhere. So I hope it's down there somewhere. That we come to a new place here. It's a big, really, really big city here. And of course we're playing the game on the highest details possible here. And it is actually looking pretty good. I like it. Even the animations, which is kind of one of the hardest parts in any game. Okay, so I guess we need to go down here. It seems like it's the only way that we can actually go here. There is a door. Oh, we can't do anything there. Princess place. And Serene. So these are the districts of the city here, which is kind of in chaos as far as I can see. And there is the quest. Perfect. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your law. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Okay. I going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Should be the biggest problem here. Let's beat him up. Something like that with our magic tricks. I'm really, really eager to see how you can customize your character later down the road. Especially that you can actually use weapons and magic from the beginning, which is really exciting. Can we run? Oh, we can actually sneak like that. And this we, uh, yeah, also we can pause the game like this. Quite easy. See. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. 
The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? <laughs> to be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Alrighty, a new quest. So everybody's got a quest for us before we leave. Let's see. Do we have a map, kind of? Okay, this is the character menu, character screen that we have here. So here we are, and we can already see that we have got lots of item slots there. And there we have the map, perfect. Down here we have the quest, and here we have actually a side quest, negotiate with the vendor, just down this street here. Uh, oh, I think I just missed him. There he is. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refused to one of the orders agreed upon with the guard. <sighs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again. Despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Ask for more instructions. Ask about the other merchants. Other suppliers, Kurt. When we've already paid for the merchandise... If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Oh yes, and there we have the option Charisma Threat in a Prison Sentence. Because we have the Charisma Skill, let's use it. I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade, nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. 
That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, my lord, I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Oh, that was fun. So we used the Charisma skill there and we got one reputation with the Coin Guard. Which probably will unlock more things down the road. And down here, let's see, down there, there should be the main quest. Oh, and there's a crate so we can loot that. Some leather and hawthorn. Of course, there's also a bigger crafting system in this game. And we can just, you know, craft different things then. Especially alchemy, which I'm eager to look forward to. Okay, so this one... Oh no, this is actually, I think, the departure guy. So down there we have the present yourself to Captain Vasco. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Oh no. For some children, we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Okay, so we need to also find the cabin boy. In this case, more and more quests are piling up. And I think we will never depart. So that's the ship here that will bring us to the island. But first we have some errands to do here and hopefully messing around with some merchants and bandits here and we're going to continue next episode stay tuned